everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy. and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well today. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stacy. I we make weekly planning videos with the Happy Planner system. So I really hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and enjoy this video. So it is week two of my new planning series. If you saw my plan with me video for last week, um, if not, I'll link it up here for you. I announced that I'm starting a new series on my channel for my weekly plan with me videos where I will be planning in a different Happy Planner layout each week for the classic Happy Planner. I do have all of the Happy Planner layouts that they have come out with over the years, so that would be fun to create a series where I show you how I would plan in each layout because I know everyone in the community has a different style and a different layout that they prefer to plan in, and my favorite is horizontal, and that's the layout that I usually plan in, but I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, so that would be fun to show each week a different layout how I would plan in it. So I did a poll on Instagram before filming this video um, asking my followers on Instagram to choose which planner layout I should plan in for week two and the choices were vertical or dashboard and dashboard won and I wasn't surprised because I know a lot of people love the dashboard layout. So the pages I'm going to be using for this dashboard layout are these undated classic pages and I took them from this undated six month dashboard calendar extension pack by the Happy Planner. This came out a long time ago, I don't remember, but I picked it up at Michael's a while back. It is undated and there's six months in here of the dashboard layout. So I currently use the dashboard layout for my um, with my homebody happy planner for my social media planning, but I didn't want to pull those pages out because I use them every week. So I have these undated pages to use today from the calendar extension pack. I don't know if that's available any longer because it came out a long time ago, but I'll try to find it online and link it below as well as anything else I use in this video like I normally do. And it is undated, so I will be dating it in this video. And just to give you a little background, um, I haven't used the dashboard layout as a catch-all for quite some time. I was using it for my catch-all planner about a year and a half ago, and I did enjoy it, but it just got too small, these weekly boxes for my planning needs for each week. So I switched to horizontal and found planner piece and never looked back, but I'm really excited to be planning in the dashboard layout here for you all for week two, so let's get started. So, today for stickers, I am going to be using my Happy Memory Keeping Dates and Holidays book. I love this book. It's a ride or die book for me. Everybody should have it. I highly recommend it. I'll link it below. I believe it's still available on Amazon. And I will also be using the Joanne Mega Value Pack sticker book that came out a while ago. Um, I wanted to do like a bright, fun colored spread because summer is approaching, so that would be fun to use this because I don't feel like I use it nearly enough, and this is still available, I know for a fact, on the Happy Planners website, and it may also be available on Amazon, so I'll link it down below. So, let's get started with this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoy seeing me plan in the dashboard layout. It's been a while, so forgive me if some decisions take some time and I'm unsure about a few things because like I said I haven't actually used this layout in terms of decorating for quite a while so I'm excited. So I'm going to start with my dates and holidays book because I need to obviously date the pages because I'm planning for the week of May 18th through the 24th and I also do need a month sticker here um, so I think I'm going to pull um, we have these, so I think I'm going to use this teal colored one, 
that says May and I'm gonna put it under here where it says month of because I'm sure I'll be incorporating some teal and then now I need to go to the front of the book and find the number stickers that will work I could use colored ones so I can either use these I think I will. There's some black ones, but I'm really feeling a colorful spread for this week. So let's see. So Monday, Monday is going to be the 18th. So I'm just going to place it next to the day of the week. I hope you guys are all having a great week or weekend. I'm filming this video on Saturday morning, but you will see it on Wednesday like my usual plan with me, so I hope you all had a great weekend. The weather here in Connecticut has been beautiful the past couple of days. Very sunny in the 70s, which is my favorite kind of weather, so it's really helped to lift my mood. And I hope you all have been able to enjoy the beautiful weather where you live as well, if it has been nice. But I highly, like I said, recommend the States and Holidays book. It's just really nice to have on hand when you need to date some pages. I've had this um, calendar extension pack for a long time, and I think I've only had to pull it out once. But I am glad that I picked it up from Michael's a while back because I don't have any other dashboard pages besides my homebody planner. So again, the date stickers in the month were from the Happy Memory Keeping Dates and Holidays book. I'll link it down below, like I said. I know it's still available. So, that is the functional part. I don't have too much going on for the week, you know, because of quarantine and everything. So, I've always been good when I have used the dashboard layout with this page. But I've always struggled with how to use this page, so it's going to be interesting to see how this works out. So I just have to decide. I'm going to go in with my the Joanne Mega Value Pack sticker book. And I need to pick out a color scheme that I want. Um, I had an idea in mind of what I wanted to do. But I just need to double check. But if you don't have one of the Mega Value Pack books like these, I highly recommend it as well. It's really all you need, especially if you're a new planner. There's so many stickers that if you're on a budget, this book is more expensive than the typical Value Pack sticker books by the Happy Planner, but it is 100% worth it. You get so many different varieties of stickers in this book. It's just amazing. So, let's see. I've actually used more in here than I thought so let's see let me just pull out the stickers this is such a thick book so it's hard to like show you everything but they do come out the pages really really easily And the ones I'm thinking of using are actually pretty summery, but I really don't mind. Okay. Alright, let's see. And a lot of the pages in here in the sticker book come as doubles. Which I really, really like. Because, you know, if you've used a certain sticker page and you, you know, want to use it again, you can. It's really nice. Okay. So the stickers I'm choosing for this week, like I said, are on the summery side, but that's just kind of the vibe I'm feeling at the moment because the weather's really nice. So I might pull more stickers as needed later on, but for right now, I just want to make sure I'm in frame here. 
I am going to be using these two pages to start with. If you can see from the Joanne sticker book, I like the color scheme. This is kind of what I had in mind, and the ones on this page are super summery with the ice cream, but I don't know. That's kind of the vibe I'm feeling. So we're going to get started there. And like I said, I don't really have anything to plan for, so um, the spread is going to be pretty decorative. So we have these headers in the dashboard layout. It says errands to buy, calls, emails, bills to pay. And obviously, I'm not going too many places right now, so I don't really know if I'm going to need any of these categories. I might be covering them up. Um, and then in the past, or in the other planners, for this header here, this one's blank, but it'll usually say dinner plans, so you can write what you're having for dinner, which is nice. This one's blank. I don't know how I'm going to be using it. Um, okay, so, and I didn't really put any thought into how the spread was going to come together before I turned on the camera, because I just figured it would be the best to see my creative process like in the moment without giving it much thought beforehand, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna work off of these sticker pages that I showed. And let's see. I just have to choose where I wanna start. So, I think I'm gonna put a box sticker in here. So I think I'm going to take this one that says you deserve a whole sheet of gold stars and put it in the corner here because I don't think I'm going to need the whole box. I'm hoping the spread comes out nicely, but if it doesn't, it's just because I haven't used, like I said, this layout in quite some time. And I'm just trying to decide if I want to trim that or if I want to leave it tall. I think I'm going to cut it. So I'm just going to take my scissors. I really need an X-Acto knife in this moment. I love how other people in the community use an X-Acto knife for things like this. I really need to get one someday. But in the meantime, I will use my scissors, and that was not a straight line at all, but that's okay. And then I have this extra strip, so I might put it somewhere else, so I'm going to hold on to it. I never waste the extra pieces that I cut off, because you can usually use them somewhere else in your spread. So I like that, it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Um, okay. So Monday, I like to go day by day. Monday... I have some shows, so I'm just going to take this circle, it says what a wonderful day, and I'm just going to lay it down on Monday, I have to be careful not to overdo it with the stickers for the spread like I normally do because the boxes for the dashboard layout are pretty small. Um, I actually might go back into the Joanne book because there are some icon stickers here and I might use these. I'm just pulling out some that I might end up using. There's something I have in mind. Um, Let's see. So I'm looking for my like pages like this. So there's some boxes and checklists. So I think I might use these too. They're all from that same Joanne sticker book that I showed you earlier. So let's see. So I think I'm going to take actually these icons or these asterisk stickers. Um, and this is going to be a really, really colorful spread, so, because I'm going to mark my TV shows. I have two shows I like to watch on Mondays. 
So I'm just going to put them on the bottom here. And then I can write in my shows. And I kind of, when I do plan in the dashboard layout, I like to kind of use it like I do with my horizontal, like I showed you in last week's plan with me, where I put like things going on towards the left side and my to-dos towards the right side. So I think I'm going to stick with that again. So now I'm going to take one of the checklists from a sheet I have here. And I'm going to lay it, let's see, these are super long, so I'm definitely going to have to trim it. I'm going to trim it after the last bullet point. And I'm just going to lay this down. Okay, it's still pretty tall. I'm just going to lay it down to see how it would look, and I'm not used to this size anymore, so just bear with me. Like I said, it is fun to plan in different layouts, but it is definitely a lot harder than just my weekly plan with me's that I'm used to, because you can get so used to a certain layout, if you know what I mean. A certain layout and then um, you get so used to that and it's hard to branch out but I'm really liking this series so far. So that is generally how I would um, decorate in the dashboard layout like for a specific day. I'm not going to put checklists and obviously these stickers down every day. Depends on what I'm going on. So Tuesday nothing. Wednesday I have my church group online. Um, so I might use this purple box. But I kind of want to layer it with something. These are like party themed stickers, but I, I kind of like them. Um, let's see. I kind of like this purple yay sticker. And these are too tall for the dashboard boxes so there's gonna be a lot of sticker surgery and trimming in this video so I just trimmed that down and I need to trim off the bottom a little bit too I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background it's so hard to film because I live with my family try to film when it's quiet but it's not always the case so I'm sorry about that so now I'm gonna layer with this box that I showed you earlier on Wednesday and then like that and then I'm gonna take a header I just have to find which one I want to use. I really like these like scripted stickers from that same Joanne's book. So I'm going to take this remember one and just stick it right in the box and then I'm going to take another one of the asterisk stickers. And then I can write in that I have my church group, like that. So I hope you kind of see my planning style here. Thursday, I don't have anything. I already paid my bills for the month. Friday, I don't think I have anything. Saturday, I might just do what I did up here because I have um, a show to watch. So I'm going to take... Maybe I'll take this little banner that says Happy Life. And I'm just going to stick it on Saturday because 
Saturdays are pretty much always good days in my book. And then going back to the asterisk stickers, I'm just going to put Actually, let's see. I'm going to put, I'm going to switch the sides for my shows and put towards the right of the box this time. And Saturday is the day that I also upload a video. Just actually, I do upload on Wednesdays too, so I think I'm going to go back and add another icon. Just so I don't forget. I do keep track of my uploads and everything in my social media planner, but I do kind of like to notate it sometimes in my catch-all, just so I'm aware. So I'm going to do another checklist somewhere, um, I just have to decide where. So going back to this page, I think I'm going to take a pink one. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, where I trim off. And I need to trim it more in this box so I don't cover the date. All my little pieces are falling off here. Okay. So this should fit. I have to say, planning on the dashboard layout is actually pretty fun. I forgot how fun it is. It's so different. And um, I love if you watch Stephanie Happily Plans. Stephanie watches my videos and she's so sweet. She's really, really talented. And also Michelle Miller, um, that Mrs. Miller here on YouTube. They're both really talented with it, using the dashboard layout, so definitely check them out if you haven't already. I'm sure if you watch me, you watch them and know who they are, but they are amazing. the right side um, of the dashboard layout done. Um, I'm going to go back to it, but now I'm going to work on the left side. This is the side that I have the most trouble with, but we're going to roll with it and see what happens. So, the first thing I'm going to do is start at the bottom. So, I'm going to go in with these three pages. And, let's see. I think I'm going to go in with this ice cream sticker. It says sweet and cover up this box that's already here. Just because I don't need that box for any reason. Perfect. It's a perfect fit with the vertical stickers, the classic stickers. Um, I've seen people cover up these sections, so what do I want to do? I like these. 
I love the balloon letter stickers. Um, now what do I want to do? Um, I think I am going to cover up the sections. I'm gonna take this balloon sticker. I think I'm gonna cover up where it says errands. If I can put this down straight, that would be a miracle. That's not too bad. And the color of this box doesn't bother me because it kind of matches my spread, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Um. And I do have one of these strips from earlier. So I think I'm going to use it to cover up the header here. And then I'm going to take this smile sticker and cover up where it says focus down here at the bottom. Alright, so we are finally done with this week's spread. It took me a lot longer than usual, like I said, because I'm using a, a layout that I'm not too familiar with anymore. But this is the completed spread. So again, um, the only books that I used to put this spread together were the Joy and Mega Value Pack book and the Happy Memory Keeping 
Dates and Holidays book. I really like how the spread turned out. It's very busy, but that's kind of my usual planning style, so it's not really a surprise, but let's just see how the pages look on the discs. Um, and I do need to, this was last week, so um, I do need to glue the pages together. So I'm just going to take my favorite Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive Tape Runner. I'm just gonna tape the pages down and it's easiest to do this when you have the pages on the discs because they're already lined up. And then I'm gonna put the other page in. Do the same thing. I need to get more of my tape soon. I'm starting to run low on it. So I'm just going to put that down, smooth it out. And here we go. So this is my completed spread for the week of May 18th through the 24th for week two of my planning in every happy planner layout challenge using the dashboard layout thank you so much for watching thank you to everybody that voted um for this layout on my instagram poll i appreciate your feedback if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a like also subscribe to my channel if you're not already i would really like to have you back here also follow me on instagram at stacy loves to plan if you are not already and I will see you soon in another video. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and take care. Bye.